Give me my TPC. Thursday, Thursday evening. Awful day today. In Leeds, I hate going to Leeds. Oh, we're back, we're home safe. As uh, Israel put this morning, know that you're getting home to that missus of yours. In a bit different words, but, but yeah, getting home to the missus and the kids. <clears throat> so I'm glad the day, day at work is over. So I shout out first, uh, Mike. Guilty Pleasures Pipe. Piper. Guilty Pleasures Piper. Mike. I'll put his doofer in the bottom. Very, very knowledgeable YTPC member. I believe he was on before. A good friend of Hound Dog Pipers. Randy's done a shout out. SMR for him as well. So that's me. Sh that's me shout out. Go and subscribe. Proper, proper nosy stuff. Um, and it's also, it's a VR for Lethal Precision. Who's got, doing a giveaway for 50, 50 subscribers. Which is very generous of him. And he's asked about how you first started pipe smoking. Now, said that it was bad done this quite a bit sort of thing so I started uh, I started smoking probably when I was about 14 the cigarettes and gave them up but I had in inspirations in my life uh, my granddad was a great inspiration with the pipe he used to have smoke a straight straight pipe if I can remember I always remember in the kitchen he had uh, just drain out some tobacco. Um, he always had a straight pipe in the kitchen, one of them big crystal ashtrays. Uh, and then my uncle John, a great pipe smoker, and did the video on my uncle John. Big inspiration, and obviously the biggest inspiration, my dad pops. So we grew up with dad smoking a pipe from a very early age. I can't remember him smoking anything else really. He never had it out of his mouth. He, he smoked, he inhaled it. Um, hardcore pipe smoker dad was, is, was, packed in. About 12 years ago, 13 years ago, he packed uh, smoking his pipe. He's, he has his vape now. And then I had another you, you remember things, don't you? Forget things, and then you remember things. So I started working in a pub when I was eighteen. Bit bit of money on a weekend and that, and then he shifts in week. So it was while I was doing my A levels, um, and the landlord of the pub was absolutely brilliant. He taught me all cellar work and everything, and he was a massive pipe smoker. He, he used to stand in tap room, it lads. We were playing darts and that, and he'd always have his pipe on the chug. So yeah, I'd forgotten about him. landlord of the pub that I worked in. A very, very, very nice. He was a very nice man. He was good, good guy. And then I vape. I mean, I, I vape when I'm at work. I don't smoke a pipe at work. I ain't got time. This is when I smoke my pipe getting from work. And it's it's me it's me relax mode. And what is it now? What we in August? So probably been smoking. Well, since New Year, it, when it's in fifty in January, wasn't it? So that's when it hit me. And Mrs. Chucky was like, I, I just got a bump, didn't I? And it was like, yep, I, I, I fancy doing that. So they're my inspirations. One of them got me Briere Extra. Going to be smoking that with some, oh, yeah. Early morning pipe. Very nice smoke from Gary. 
So yeah, they're, they're my, my inspirations. And, and the YTPC, that's a bit of an inspiration as well, isn't it? So I started watching the YTPC to get some ideas on how to do it. Because although my dad had smoked a few years, I didn't have a, really have a clue what to what to do and what where to go. And so that's that's my thing, Chad. That's how I started and never looked back. Never looked back. If you haven't checked Lethal Precision's channel out, Chad, go <clears throat> and check it out. Give me some. There's some nice stuff. And made a corn cob pie. Quite impressed with that. I didn't ask him how he did it, or he needs to do a video on how he did it. He only did his short. But he's got hummingbirds. I mean, I've seen it on a few guys. I mean, we don't have them in the UK. They're hummingbirds that fly about. <laughs> Beautiful little things. They, they don't look real. Amazing. To, that, that'd, that'd be fantastic having them around. We have pigeons. Yeah, I've, I've said before, I think, I mean, my dad used to walk into the garage and it just, it smelled heavenly. Oh, yeah, hi, that's it too. So, used to go with my dad to uh, the tobacconists in town where we live. And he's still going today, I've only been a couple of times. I do need to go, I need to go and have a look and see what they do. And it's where I bought my first bit of backy. Off the shelf stuff, that cherry and vanilla that were horrible. Uh, and I got a pipe, some pipe cleaners, I think. But you'd walk into the tobacconists and the smell. Oh, if you, yeah, it's like baking bread, isn't it? And, Coffee. The smell in the tobacconist was just oh my world. Oh, and I, I used to buy my rolling cigarette tobacco from there as well when I were at college. So it was always a lot cheaper to buy stuff off its shelf and like stuff in a packet. Forgot about that. That's another bit that's jogged my memory. But yeah, I used to love going in there. Two old ladies that. It's a different two old ladies now. But the two old ladies that ran it. They knew my dad by name, obviously. They knew exactly what tobacco he'd want. I mean, it's nice when you get them things, isn't it? When people, you, you're meant to feel welcome. And, you know, a bit like the YTPC. You're meant to feel welcome in the YTPC, aren't you? Not that you'd think that from a certain individual. Oh yeah. My concrete pal Rob, Hoot and a Briar. Well done, mate. Well done. We'll not say any more though. We're putting it to bed, aren't we? No, oh, but good on you, pal. Well said. It's a bit of a mix this video, isn't it? It's uh I'm ram I'll probably ramble a bit. I'm tired. We're up at four this morning to get to there. Well, it's early morning pipes, cracking smoke. And the old estate pipe smokes. You just get them pipes, don't you, that smoke better than other pipes for some reason. Smoke's beautiful.
bit of chocolate on that thing. And also, well, on Sunday night I watched, uh, I was a bit behind on Mark Matchbox's <clears throat> pairing of cigars and with whiskey. So I watched three. It was cracking. I enjoyed it. I had a glass of whiskey and a Odyssey cigar. Nice big one. It was a nice relaxing Sunday after I'd picked up Mrs. Trucking from the train station. And Matchbox, I asked him a question and he did a 15 minute video, which is very much appreciated. Uh, his bits and bobs, what he uses, and all that. I'm no cigar aficionado, I, I do like one for a special occasion. Well, I had a lovely, a lovely gift. I bet you don't know who from. <laughs> so, Ron just opened it as well. So I've got a, just a single cutting cigar cutter. Probably in my box. But, I had a lovely gift from Mr. Welsh Piper. So, a very much appreciated mark. Absolutely stunning. I'll put my glasses on for this. So, it comes in a little case. It's the, the cigar cutter I've got. Like, just them super cheap ones are about two quid or something, aren't they? Look, look at this. Beautiful. It's like a uh, Damascus pattern. And then double cutter. So, oh. very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. You, won't, uh, you get a spare one too in case you lose one. Beautiful. So a bit of a mismatch of a video. We're at 12 and a half minutes. So if you're not subscribed to me shout out, please go and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to Chad, go and check Chad out. So guilty pleasures. Gu guilty pleasures Piper. Sorry. Sorry, mate. And lethal precision, Chad. So that's my VR for you, Chad. Happy smokes. Keep it going. Your subs will go shumph. And don't forget, it's not all about subs. I've said this before. If you make what if you make a difference to one person, that's all that matters. So look after your families, guys. All the best. See you soon. Ta-da.